It's dangerous territory we're in here, but you planned for this. Don't let your quilt land in the UFO pile. Let's talk quilting and finishing. Hi, I'm Amy and I make things. And in today's video, I'm making my way towards the finish line in the breakdown quilt along. Hang around and I'll show you. You've done all the work. Planning, cutting, sewing, layout and assembly. Don't quit now. Here is where many quilters, myself included sometimes, stop and things end up in UFO land. But you planned ahead. You thought about backing and binding and all those things way back in week one. And now all you need to do is dig deep and execute the plan. Okay, what are the steps to finishing? Because quilting is only the first step. There's quilting and trimming, binding and labeling if you didn't add one to your backing, photographing and documenting, fancy words for the Instagram post, <laughs> and then my favorite part, washing the quilt so that it gets all crinkly and full of quilty goodness. We'll just start first things first, the quilting. In this process, you made a backing plan when you planned your quilt, so that settled and just needs to be prepped. Hopefully, you've thought about the quilting ideas throughout the making process. Are you quilting it on your long arm or domestic machine, or by hand, or sending it out to be quilted? For any of these, there are things you need to consider, like how you want it quilted, your design, the density of the design, how loosely or tightly you want your quilting pattern packed in, do you want your quilting pattern to complement, accent, disappear, or is the quilting the feature, like an Angela Walters quilt or show quilt? Then there's thread. And the same questions here. Do you want it to complement, accent, disappear, or is the thread a feature? For this quilt, being very angular and super colorful and busy, we chose a complementary thread that would mostly blend in, but when it does show, it looks kind of cute. For the quilting pattern, Anna, my long armor, suggested freeform wavy lines, they nicknamed Wibble Wobble, for the quilting. And it gives the quilt movement and ease without being distracting from the fun, busy pattern and colors. And they nailed it. Watch them quilt both in real time and in I wish time.
I've been doing it for years and the long arm process still mesmerizes me. Next, there's trimming your quilt. Guys, I don't square my quilts. I just trim them relatively straight and call it good. I do try and process the scraps as I go, even if it's just separating the batting from the fabric. It's just easier to do it now. And then there's binding and labeling. I didn't film the binding process. It was late and you've seen me bind quilts before. And if you haven't, check out my easiest binding ever video linked below and in the cards. I've already made my label and I did forget to add it to the backing before quilting. So now I'll just hand stitch it on and it'll be just fine. And here is the finished quilt. Okay, it's mostly finished. I've got to hand stitch that label and the binding and get it washed today, but I love it so much. Can you pull it down so everyone can see the top of it just a little? And then out slowly so that they can see the edge. Thank you. I really do need to patent that system. <laughs> I love it so much. It is bright and cheery and exactly what, exactly what I imagined it would be. That wraps up the breakdown process quilt along. Planning, kitting and cutting, sewing and piecing, layout and assembly, and finally quilting and finishing. When the process is broken into discrete steps, I find it easier to manage mentally keep moving forward, and not get overwhelmed. This is the breakdown process I try to use in all my projects. I'm not always so formal about it. I've been doing it for years and a lot of it's just automatic. It's just the way I work and it works for me. I hoped that you learned something about my process and about what might work for you. Do let me know in the comments which parts of the process you might carry forward. I would love the feedback. I would also love any tips or tricks you have in your quilting process. So keep what is useful and forget the rest, but never forget that you make the world more beautiful just by being in it. I'm Amy and I'll see you next time.